everybody what is going on ruben with texas all water fishing and i want to cover wade fishing wet wading what i typically use what i do when i am out here uh, in the water and during this time of season i love wade fishing especially the surf uh, today i'm out here at texas city dyke but um, i do wade fish the surf a lot i did wade this morning so i kind of have my gear a lot of my gear already out here so i thought i would take a quick minute and just kind of show you and run you through what i use and and the reason why i use it now like i said during this time of year you can catch a lot of good fish out here while wade fishing a lot of good specks especially in the surf if you know what the tide is doing drop my car keys if you know what the tide is doing and you know when the surf is going to be flat and clean you can really really get on those speckled trout you can catch spanish mackerel you can get lucky and get some jacks too there's also reds out there as well and um but me i typically target the spanish mackerel if you're not familiar or not familiar too familiar with the surf i did make a video how to look and the tools i use to maximize my time to make sure i'm not out there on the wrong days and to make sure that i'm out there on the right days when that surf is green clean and flat you can click uh there's a link in the description section for that video but real quick i'm gonna switch hats real fast and i'm gonna show you kind of what i use and uh why i use it all right so we'll real quick i'm gonna just show you right here what i have going on and what i use and what i take with me out wade fishing if oh i think i still have my belt on <laughs> looking for my belt well first of all it starts with the belt this is just a simple wade belt i put a couple of zip ties on here so i can use to clip things to and what this is simply does just a nice simple belt this is actually a weight belt. It did have like a holster on it at one point, but I that's that's long gone. Uh, inexpensive belt, and I will take my float net out there. And again, I have just a simple clip that I will clip to the zip ties on the belt. Uh, this is very important to make sure that you have a net in order to land the fish. I do have a pair of flippers. These are just again an inexpensive fish lip grips off Amazon little six dollar lippers what i'll do with these is i'll typically just grip them to my net and i'll hold them like that until i need them and you also very important is a pair of pliers these are Ravala's pliers and the reason why i like these is because they, they last forever this is pairs were probably like six years old but it, they last forever i like it with the little split ring tip on the front it helps hold on to the hook better I like them because they're very narrow so if you do have a fish that swallows the hook that will help you and i got this little leash you can find them on amazon and again i have another carabiner clip to it and i will simply just slide this in my pocket and clip it to my belt loop and i have a little zip tie on that holding that together and it brings me to my float ring my i also it comes with a tackle box on it um, it does have this little holder for it, although I really never use that for anything. Um, I like the float rings, the mesh net, because you don't have a long stringer. It kind of keeps the toothy guys away. And I will, again, I will clip this to that. And for the most part, I will clip this to that. And I kind of just leave my net like that floating. And one of the reasons why I do like the float ring also is because it gives you a place where you can sit things down on such as a fish after you land it you can sit it down here and kind of handle it and manage a little bit today i was fooling around with my gopro and it's pretty flat and calm out here so having this on here i actually set my rod my reel across and while i was messing with my gopro and it was staying out of the water the reel was staying out of the water um, i wouldn't recommend if you doing that but that's kind of what i did today the reason why like i said i do like this box is because this is because it also has a little tackle box and tackle box i have some lures in it uh, you can typically i might even put some leader line in here and i have these rx pill bottles these pharmacy pill bottles this is actually for my dog's prescription and in the pill bottles i will store jig heads i will store hooks i will store weights and 
it kind of keeps you know it keeps you a little organized it keeps them a little dry um, some water might get in there and in this particular one I have my spoons in it and you know just help you kid kind of stay organized but I use those pill bottles like in everything every, anything and everything that's in my bags I use the pill bottles also if I am fishing with live bait I will take a a simple floating bait bucket and what this does is that I like this kind because it it you have the push indoor so you never really have to worry about it being locked because you're gonna push it in some of the other ones the doors open up and if you don't lock it then you will lose all your bait and I have a simple rope tie to it and again a, another carabiner clip this one is stainless steel you know the bubbles work really good uh, the baby bu bubbles works really great I like mr. bubbles uh, I will use the air stone when I am doing live live bait a couple of big nice air stones and then the bait butler this is an awesome awesome bait bucket some cool design you hold that open and lift that handle up and the shrimp will come to you so that's what it's kind of designed for it's like to give you your shrimp you're the bait butler you have a butler that will hand you bait and when i am weight fishing i will take a small dry bag and i will put my batteries and my phone my car keys in this one and i put this one inside of this and then this is where i might keep maybe an extra another additional bottle of uh, pill bottle or i might have extra uh, hooks or jig heads and have some leader line in and i'll put the smaller bag in this bag and fold it with the strap roll it down and that's going to keep my uh my stuff dry that i need to stay dry and uh you know during this time of the season i am really throwing a lot of corks so i like to go you can go anywhere from a two to four thousand reel i prefer i like to throw a spinny reel they're easier to clean and break apart i i don't really break the the i really don't fish with really anything too expensive but i definitely would not fish wade fish with something uh, with a really really expensive reel just for the simple fact that you might most likely you are going to dunk it um I like to use a couple different corks. This one is a coastal cork. The reason why I like the some of the corks that I do is because they have big beads on them. This has a big weight, uh, big weight, nice weight to it. You can get that nice cast, but it has big, big beads for that nice pop cork sound. And I go anywhere from about anywhere from a foot and a half to maybe three feet leader line. Always good to put a bead on there or even like a pinch weight. This will help keep the shrimp down, help slow them down. The, the bead will act, add a little bit of flair to, um, to what you're throwing. And I really like the octopus hooks, although I will throw other hooks. Kale hooks are good. Can never go wrong with a treble hook, but they kind of tear the fish up a little bit, treble hooks do. So I, I try not to use treble hooks too, too much, unless I'm getting a really short bit. People always ask me, people ask me often, like, what's, what, what hook am I using? What am I throwing? It really depends on the bite. It depends on what the fish, what the fish are doing. If they're short biting a lot, I might go to a treble hook. I might downsize my hook. I might downsize my bait and start ripping my bait in half. Leader line, 30 pound to 40 pound Yurzuri. And I use about a 30 pound braided line. This line right here is a cast cane line, but man, I'm telling you, I'm loving and digging that tight line braid. I try to stay under seven foot when it comes to fishing rod this is attack 40 and this is 71 just because it's easier it's easier to manage the fish when you're trying to net them and and hook them but yeah that's that's it you know i mean i keep it simple i always wear pants because especially weight fishing uh stingrays i mean not stingrays but jellyfish will sting you uh so i always have pants on sometimes they might even sting through the pants let's be honest you know, some of the bigger ones will get you and I always wear shoes it doesn't really matter what style of shoes i have on um, uh, okay so if i'm fishing a surf it really doesn't matter if i'm fishing like rocks or shelly areas then i make sure that i have a good sole uh, a water shoe with a good sole but you can also use like old tennis shoes you really don't need to break the bank when you are trying to weight fish uh, especially during this time of the season because you're, you're typically when it's a lot cooler than the waiters is where the expense is here it doesn't really have to be an expense and if i am weight fishing in more of a muddy area then i will wear weight boots that are anything past the ankle that's going to help keep that shoe on 
So, you know, today I have some of my old faithfuls on, my own Columbia's, nice thick so because I'm weight fishing out here and there's a little bit of shell, a little bit of rock. <coughs> uh, at times there might be a little patch of soft mud too. So lace these up tight, double, double knot them and I'm good to go. But hey guys, I hope this helps you. Uh, everything I have is in the description section. Everything that I'm using is in the description section with some links click on those links and then you'll see some of this stuff and and a lot of this stuff i've had for a really really long time so i'll, I'll look online and find some similar things on uh on on amazon and i'll leave links for for the similar items in case you're like well that's not the exact belt that you show me well because i probably had this belt for probably like seven eight years so i'm sure they they changed a little bit of design by now but if you did like this video, please push the thumbs up button. That helps a lot. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And also join Patreon. You know, Patreon is just an additional way that you can support the channel. And, you know, because none of this, you know, this isn't this isn't cheap. You know, running out here and hitting the surf all the time, the gas price, all that stuff is, is, is up. And this is what I do for a living. I, I do a couple other things, but this is my, my primarily... Um, I want to say income because it's not a whole lot of income here, but this is my where my most of my tension gets is is um, is making YouTube videos, posting on social media, sharing with my Patreons. That's where my stuff comes in. Uh, most of my time comes in doing that kind of stuff. All right, so instead of so I won't get my seat wet. I have this really cool seat cover. It's made out of like like the same thing that some of these Wade waders are made out of made out of um what is it i can't think of the name top of my name but as a really nice material and it's going to keep your seat dry i have seat covers anyway but they're not they're not really waterproof they say they are but they're not really waterproof but i would throw that seat cover on there and uh yeah there it goes and it says super super dry <laughs>